Today we're going to look at how to get data from an Excel spreadsheet and load it into Unity. It's actually much simpler than you think. When using your Excel spreadsheet with Unity, you'll want to export it as a CSV as opposed to the standard formats. You can see the example I've chosen is CSV. There are a number of different CSVs, but this is the one that I use. So now that you have that, you just want to make sure that you've saved this file on your project and you can see that it's here for me. And you can see the file is actually here and it has the first row and it has commas between the different elements and then carriage returns at the end of each row. So the way at least comma or the CSV files work is in between each cell goes a comma and in between each row goes a new line. You don't need a comma at the end. So let's make a script. This script I'm going to use to read in the CSV file. So let's double click this to open it in Visual Studio. First up, I'm just going to add using system because there are a few functions in there that we're going to use. Next up, let's delete the update because we won't need this. The first thing that we'll need is a reference to our text asset, which is the CSV file that we're going to read in. Next up, we're going to need to create a data structure to store this in. I'm just going to use a class. I'm using system serializable so that you can see it in the inspector. And now I'm going to make another class which will be an array of that player type. And finally, I'm going to declare an instance of this. Now we'll need a function to read in our CSV. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to read in our text asset and we're going to split the string based on both commas and carriage returns because they're the two key parts of the CSV file. So now all of our data from the file will be stored into this array and each cell will now be in a new data point in the string. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to determine how wide the table is and what we'll need to do for that. You can see that we had four columns in our Excel, so we're going to want to break our data up into lots of four. We're also going to want to ignore the first row because this isn't actually part of our data. It's only rows two to five. So we're getting our data, we're dividing it by the number of columns, and we're just taking one off because we're going to ignore the first row. And then we can make our player list that size. Now all we need to do is make a for loop to write all of the data into the class that we've already made. This line creates the memory space for those four variables. If you don't have this line in, it will give you an error back saying that the memory isn't allocated. So here we are in the zero element and we're putting in the fourth element. So zero plus one times four will be the fourth element in the array. Now, second time that it goes through when i equals one, it'll mean that this will be eight. And so this means each time you're grabbing the name from the correct place. Then all you need to do 
is add one for each of the next things, health, damage, and defense. So let's go ahead and do that. This in dot pass will take the string that has the number in it and turn it into an integer to put it into health. It's really good to do this immediately when you read it in and not have to do it every time. And now I just need to duplicate this for the damage and the defense. The final thing you need to do is grab your read says fee and call it once in the start function so that we can check that it works. Save this and head back to Unity. Let's add an empty game object to put the code on. You'll need to drag your CSV file into the text asset data slot. And let's hit play to see if it works. As you can see, all of our data is in here. And it's a really simple and easy way to get any Excel spreadsheet and bring it into Unity. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel and know that people want to see more of these videos. I hope you enjoy your game development.